we are going to actually be releasing them tonight and starting this Sunday they are going to be starting their own home group now I know you're looking maybe at these two and you're saying okay I understand with these people but what about these two you asked the right question they are going to be actually starting a home group in a middle school during their lunch time yeah and you may be wondering aren't they too young on the average average age a person gets introduced to pornography is 13. the average age most people get introduced to it is even earlier so who said if people can get introduced to these things by peers that they cannot introduce something better than weed and better than pornography it's Jesus Christ amen and so and so we believe in them we believe they're gonna that's exactly what the Holy Spirit is gonna use them and stuff I'm just gonna actually if you can grab another microphone give me another microphone and so they will just share their name and kind of a turning point my, my turning point in my life was a few years ago when a few events brought me closer to God um, a few events that happened in my life brought me closer to God and through these years I've I've really grown and got serious and uh, this year starting this year I got the privilege of becoming a home group leader where uh, I was not a home group leader uh, uh, a home group helper and I was being prepared stretched uh, disciplined and not only was I a home group uh, helper but I also got a privilege I, I also have the privilege of being on the worship team and, and not only leading people here but also leading people on the stage and I've, I've really been really been stretched out these years and I'm really excited to see what God where God has taken me in the next chapter of my life my name is Sylvia Cuevas and my turning point would definitely have to be actually this summer where I got baptized and we started this book called good morning Holy Spirit in our home groups and through that book and the home group itself, I was challenged to evaluate my commitment with God and the church. And I would say at that point is where I evaluated my life and said, you know what, I need to be a servant. I need to be living more as a servant and be able to serve the church, God, and others. And so now I am definitely encouraged to see what God has planned with this home group so I can help others and encourage them as well. You know, actually, to add, Joseph actually also, some of you know, we have a local TV show that runs three times on a Christian ch the channel and twice on a secular channel. The, ch the secular channel actually charges us zero. And Joseph is the one that edits the TV show also and stuff. So not just on the stage, not just helping with people, but also does that. And most of you know that Sylvia, I think half of Pasco has been to our church and Sylvia had something to do with it and stuff. So she's an evangelist. She's quiet but don't let, your, don't let her fool you and stuff so because she is she is an evangelist and she's just a warrior for Christ amen and so let's give a round of applause for Sylvia <laughs> Sylvia you rock my name is Oksana Zendri and my turning point was about six months ago I came to service much like this it was a miracle catch and that service I really realized how black and white things are and how much in the gray I was living but I did not realize how much I wanted to serve God and really live for him until I went to Kiev actually went for two weeks there on conference and it just made me just realize how much I want to give all my life to God and a little pushing from Vlad you know helped too <laughs> And the group that I'm going to be starting with is actually going to be a Skype group because I kind of work a funny schedule. I work nights, so it's kind of difficult for me. So the Skype group is going to be right now, how about four girls? I have somebody from Virginia, Florida, California, Canada. So. And actually, so no excuses. And so, but Oksana actually, it was just a few months ago, about six months ago that she was sitting, she came for the first time. And sometimes it happens in our church when you come for the first time in an accident, they slip you into the front. So she was sitting right in the front and I remember crying and she was bawling and, and everything. And it was that night that God touched her. And then uh, it continued to grow and just look now six months later and stuff. This, these people are not uh, priests. They're not saints. They are not people who are perfect. They are people who are committed to progress. All right, all right. Uh, my name is Eder, um, and uh, I'm just excited to be here, guys. I'm really, really just amazing. This is my dream come true. I've been praying for this, so, so yeah, my turning point was uh, probably this year after I came from New York, and um, I just wanted to share to uh, let people know what I have experienced in my life in the in the last maybe what like this year the whole year you know because um i knew that the lifestyle that i was 
I was in, it was not going to take me to heaven. So I just, you know, radically changed that. And um, now I'm just, you know, um, I think I'm, I'm ready to share what I, what I have seen, what I have experienced. And, uh, you know, it's time to encourage people and build them up too. My name is Tatiana. I never say the way. Um, and my turning point, it was this year too, I don't know exactly when, but when I got more closer to God and I started, you know, reading the Bible and, you know, knowing more about God and the things that He wants for us. And it's not like He created us so we can be closer to Him, you know. And sometimes we're good people, but we're just not close to God. We don't have a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So now that I do, I want people to know about God so they can have a relationship with God too. So I'm excited to, to start our own home group with Eder. And uh, it's, like he says, it's a dream come true. So, yeah, that's it. You know, some of you don't know, actually, Tatiana is from El Salvador, and, but uh, originally from, from New York. And so she lived there, Eder moved there, they got married. And, uh, and Tatiana was not, a, uh, was not a believer in Jesus. She was a religious person, but not a believer in Jesus. And when she came here at first, and then a few months later, she gave her life to Jesus. Um, her and Eder, were you guys baptized at the same time? Oh yeah, that's right. And so they got baptized at the same time and to see the growth in, first of all, in their marriage where God became first and I had a chance to be on the front seat in their marriage and to see how they handle things now with Jesus. Hello. My name's Zachy. Uh, uh, well, me, Eric, and Angela are going to, I think next week, are going to start home groups in school. And our vision in, uh, in doing home groups in school is to bring people to Christ, bring the uh, name Jesus to as many students in school as we can, if we can, all the school. <laughs> and, That's right. Yeah, and just start home groups and, and try to get people saved and bring them to church. Oh, well, my name is Elizabeth, and right now I am by myself, so it's going to be kind of difficult, but we'll handle it. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> but our vision is... Just one soul at a time, just every ear, just to hear Jesus' name. And like Zach has said, even the whole school, Tri-Cities. <laughs> Some of you don't know, but this young little girl, um, she was in her bus, and so she asked the bus driver to give her the microphone so she can sing to her bus. And she would choose a Christian songs, and she would sing. Well, I always thought there was a full bus, but she told me lately that it wasn't a full bus. I was like, it doesn't matter, even if there would be a one bus driver and stuff. So she is very bold. And the difference between us, when 10 or 14 years ago, when our pastor encouraged us in our schools, we didn't speak English, to start a revolution, to bring people to Christ. The problem was, one, we didn't speak English. Two, we were not popular. <laughs> And you might say, well, it doesn't matter. It kind of does when you're in middle school. And so, and three, we had no idea what we were doing. And so, but we still tried. We still tried. I still remember we were trying to do Bible classes and everything with these kids. Well, number one is they speak English. Number two, most of these kids actually, and some of you who go to their middle schools, or if you know somebody who does, they're actually very popular in their schools. These kids are not there, well, because first of all, they serve God, they don't do drugs, they don't, we teach them proper things, we brainwash them, they're victorious, God can use them, and so they're popular. And the most important part is they know when somebody says, I have a problem with my ear, they know the first thought comes to their head, it's not, sucks to be you. The first thought comes, comes into their head, we heard people who got healed, can we pray for you? And so we know that God is going to use them and we're excited in the next few years that their group from Sunday night is going to grow to actual youth service in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So right now I'm going to ask you, yes, let's put our hands together for them. I want you to stretch your hands right now and we are going to pray. And we are going to pray that the Holy Spirit is going to empower them. And if I could ask our pastor to just come and just lay hands on them. And so we are going to commission them tonight that the Holy Spirit is going to be upon them. And I know you're seated, but I want your spirit right now to be praying. Even if you're a first-time guest, I want you to stretch your hand and just release blessing, release good words toward them. That the God's Spirit was going to touch their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Let's begin to pray. 
Oh, Holy Spirit. Father God, we bless these people right now, God. We ask you that you will use them mightily, God. We ask you, God, that you will begin to use them in an incredible way, God. Each one of them, that you will bless them, God. That their hands will see how you work through them, Holy Spirit. We bless them this evening, God. And we ask you that you will give them opportunities, God. That they will be used by you mightily, Jesus. That the people will be drawn to them, God. We bless them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and we speak your prosperity we speak your blessings over them God we speak your breakthroughs God in their home groups and we bless them in Jesus mighty name God we know that you will use them and we know that you prepared them Holy Spirit you already prepared them for great things God and tonight we bless them Jesus and we ask you that you will continue to use them mightily in a mighty